Ari in Israel writes to me, and I hope you're safe, Ariel. Uh, Ari, the, I don't know what's happening when this video goes, but boy, the, you know, the war over there. Whew. So sorry for everybody. Um, hey, Paul, thanks for the videos. Why do people put a small bypass capacitor, like a 0.1, on a capacitor in the speaker crossover? I saw it mostly in a do-it-yourself speaker. Thank you much. Yeah, well, for the same reason that people put bypass caps on power supplies. So let me explain what's, what's going on. A capacitor, especially one, uh, and let's put the power supply one aside. We'll talk about that at a later point. Let's just talk about signal capacitors. So back in the day when we used to capacitor couple our audio products, so our power amplifiers, our pre-amplifiers, had high quality signal capacitors to, to where the signal ran through those capacitors and in a preamp that was at the output and on a power amp it was at the input. Now we no longer do that. I haven't used a coupling capacitor inside of a piece of electronics for decades now. So we figured out different ways to call what we call direct coupling. And that's a much better way of doing it. So, but back in the day when we did that, before we knew how to direct couple stuff, we always used the best quality electrolytic capacitor we could because we needed something, oh gosh, on the order of uh, 100 microfarads in order to get that low frequency response, say at the output of a preamp. We'd put 100 microfarads electrolytic on it. We would also improve the sonics of that capacitor by adding a bypass cap, a 0.1 film cap in parallel. And that made a huge difference in the way things sound. And whether it's in a loudspeaker or whether it's in a preamplifier or the input to a power amplifier, you want to bypass those caps because capacitors, as the frequency goes up, the impedance starts to increase, okay? And they start basically rolling off with high frequency. So the bigger the cap, the more high frequency roll off, the harder it has of delivering high frequency sound, okay? So a 100 microfarad capacitor has what's called an ESR, equivalent series resistance, that goes, if you look at it on a chart, it's pretty low for most frequencies. And then as the frequency goes up, it starts to rise. Now, what does that mean? That means that higher frequencies are not going to be able to get through to your amplifier quite as well. But we're tricky. We take a small film capacitor who can't really do the opposite. You can't put low, depending on the impedance, in general, you can't put low frequencies through this 0.1 cap. But high frequencies go through it all day long. So that sandwich of a big cap that can handle low frequencies and the little cap in parallel give you this spectacular bandwidth and it sounds so much better and open. So hope that answered your question. Thanks. Bye.